but other horror events will begin now. One night with a woman like Anne, and you'll forget all about your hands. Excuse me? I'll be at Salamani if you need me. Who the hell do you think you are, Tom? I didn't mean to offend you. The fact that you pay me for sex doesn't give you the right to treat me like a common whore. Don't ever do that again. The villiers! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I think if yeah, 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 I think yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did that take you memory lane? That did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, That that did. That's 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 like yeah, yeah, nine nine and a half years ago. That's that's a. In fact, a little bit more actually. More, yeah. That's like what 2008 back there. Um, I'll be able to tell you now because I actually left Generations when in 2000 in the middle of 2007. What a vibe. You were listening to an insert from an interview Kulus Kenjana did with Tulanim Tsweni. If you just tuned in, this is Active Spaces Insightful Conversation with me, Rose Rataha, standing in for Ayanda and Kulu. Don't forget, we love hearing your opinions. Do let us know which actor you would like us to bring and the topics you would like us to discuss. We are at Active Spaces on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Ayanda caught up with Mposibeng chatting about the craft of acting and performance, his experience in the industry since a young age and getting to know the man himself. Enjoy the snippet of the podcast. What up, Mpo? Good, bro. How you doing? I'm good, man. Yo, finally, man. this happens. Yeah, finally, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's been yeah. long with you. It has, it has, yeah. has really. I've been going on about you. Mm. And, and the one most important thing i'm just going to jump into it um with the little time we have Let's. one thing i just highlighted about you and and i want you to tell us really how did you achieve this most of the time we've got young actors that come into the industry and they fail to sort of transform from that child star to becoming like you know taken serious as an actor or it, things happen you know some it's drugs some some it just doesn't sort of continue and stuff like that. How, yeah. how, how were you able to sustain playing a young kid on Zillow Torrance, uh, Soul Buddies, right. to playing like a matured character now as Neo on King of Flies. How do we, you know? I think, um, well, when you get into the game, yes, you love the, the craft, but yeah. it's more of a, uh, just doing it as a hobby at the time. So at the time, you don't necessarily take it serious, but the older you get, I think, in order for you to have staying power, you have to hone your craft, work mm. on it. I think once mm. you decide that, you know what, this is something that I want to make a career out mm. of, that's when you start taking it seriously and then start taking yourself seriously yeah. in the art as well. Yeah. yeah. Key there being career, yeah. you know, because most people just get into it for, I want to be famous, like you True. say, it's a hobby. Yeah. Um, but I think the key is turning it into a career. Correct. And, and how do you do that? How do you like decide now, this is now work? For does me, it feel like work? It, it doesn't. It doesn't feel <laughs> yeah, like work, yeah, right? But yeah. I, for me, the, the work part comes in the commitment. Mm. Me being committed to the art form, me being committed to the craft, me trying to make sure that I give my best each and every time I step on whatever set. Mm. So that's where the work part comes in. But while I'm at work, it's it's not work. It's it's breathing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. It's, it's, it's almost like se uh, second nature. Beautiful. I feel like, Beautiful. you know, if, if you don't follow and if you don't do your talent or if yeah. you don't follow out your purpose, then that's the biggest sin that sure. you make because then you miss your mark. You sure. miss your mark by not following what your purpose is. Wow. You yeah. miss your mark. That's yeah. that's that's so powerful. And, and, and the gap between... Because you still fall under the young actors. I think I think Word. you're very young and, yeah. and you're doing amazing things. Thank you so much. Do, do, do you think th th there's a gap between the young and the old actors um but like is the gap there like you, you, like i've been on set and i've seen like a young actor working with like this legend and obviously you see the admiration from 
the younger sort of generation at times. Yeah. But do you think is is there a gap there in between? I know I'm jumping from that to that. Yeah. But do, do, do you think is there a gap there? I think, uh, to be honest, in the industry we live, we we, are, we work in, uh, we are very lucky because yeah. I mean the badge, the, the the gap rather is gr- is bridged very quickly. Mm. I mean people get there and they all know they're there for work. Mm. But in as much as you know the uh, yeah, the young actors or would give the older actors you yeah. know that respect the older actors are just as playful because mm. I mean that's what we get paid mm. to do right? we get paid to work and to you know show real emotions but everyone is as playful yeah. as you are so you get there and you gel I think the, the only way to bridge the gap is yeah. if they see that you respect the art form as uh, well if you don't uh, then, then they don't yeah. see the difference yeah. I think that's the core right yeah. respect for the craft yeah. and I think I've been saying to, to my team and stuff that, that that's what we exist as actor spaces which yeah. is really bring the respect to the craft to yeah. the profession like guys this is a professional yeah. so you're very right if we're on set we're working the core the main fundamental there is let's respect what we're doing yeah. before anything before else before anything else yeah that's 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 very profound yeah. And then, um, yeah, they, they're doing the, the hand signals and stuff like that of time. Guys, we just started this conversation. <laughs> All right. Um, t- tell me this. Tell me this. Um, in terms of celebrating actors, um, I mean, our industry is growing, which is amazing. I, I think it's the best time for the industry. Yeah. I mean, I'm very excited about it. You know, I think every second actor is working. Yeah. I don't know if they're getting paid enough, but I know Eish. they're working. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> so, so, so uh, tell me something. In terms of actors being celebrated do you, do you think the craft just before i started the show i, um, I was talking about the global citizen um festival mm, mm. and and <clears throat> i was asking the power of actors like do we as actors like have the same power that musicians have um but you know that's another question but uh, do you think the craft is celebrated enough for us to have that power that musicians have that's a know. Very, yeah. very very good yeah. question i won't yeah. lie um, look, I think as actors we have a, a very big social responsibility with the story that mm. stories that we tell on on screen and whatnot. Yeah. But I think maybe what dilutes the art form is people coming into it for the fame mm. and coming into it to become celebrity like or celebrities yeah. because then uh, people end up losing the respect for it. Wow. So then th- that's why we don't have as much power as musicians have. Mm. Online musicians mm. at the moment have a lot more power than the actors do. Mm. However, we have the bigger social responsibility. Wow. And I feel like some people just aren't taking it seriously mm. and aren't committing and aren't working towards, you know, building a better future for yeah. everyone and, and yeah. build a, a better country for everyone. Shucks. I, I think it's time actually as an industry i think we need to be selfish now we definitely have to like really be selfish with the space and and i think in, in, and and i think this goes in the music industry you don't just wake up and you've got like you there and yeah. whatever unless obviously you've got that hit song that yeah. makes you sort of penetrate the the hit waves and stuff like that but i think with acting we're not selfish enough mm. i think as an industry that you can't come in if you don't have all the qualities yeah you know yeah how do we i don't know how do we put that border there should we even put that border to say you know not everyone can just wake up and do it yeah we definitely should look with music the one thing is that they put everything in the music mm. so let's put everything on in the story mm. and tell the story i mean there's so many platforms right now that are available to us we need to use whatever platforms we have to tell the story mm. and i think just by doing that then people will start understanding how difficult and how it's not just easy and how not everyone can just jump into mm. it and become a celebrated actor you know what i mean mm. it's, it's, it's deeper than it it's, it's storytelling it's a calling that you need to you know answer and wow deliver. wow yeah. talking about storytelling are, are we telling the right stories are, you, are you like are, are we um i was talking to camila the other day and we were talking about theater mm. and i said to her i said to her um, why is theater sort of running away from like young people and stuff like that? And she's like, no, it's the stories actually that are told in these theaters. They, if young people can't relate to them mm. anymore. You know, they're not telling what's happening now. In terms of storytelling, are, are we are we narrating like the right stories? Is there such thing as the right story? I think on television right now, they there is definitely room for that. Mm. And I think because of so many shows that are out right now. You know, there's this, there's a space, there's yeah. a definite space for young actors, you know, to showcase their they, they, they talent and mm. showcase their craft. So I think bit by bit, yeah, we're growing. Yeah. But like I said, we need to use our own platforms. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if you're going to complain that the stories that we want to be told aren't yeah. being told, let's tell them ourselves. 
Let's tell our own stories. Let's yeah. own it. Let's yeah. own our own stories. All right, we're going to just take a quick break. Um, after that break, I want to ask you, man, what does acting mean to you? Like, um, if someone, if the young actor there is listening now, like, they want to know what does acting mean? Um, I want us you. I want you to tell us that after the break. Just a short break. Cool stuff. Making a bold statement yet blending into the surrounding suburbs of Melville, 27 Boxes is a realization of edgy design and practical implementation. A radical departure from the shopping malls of our generation, yet not a return.